our act of defiance of the week. This email from Daniel B., who, by the way, is already planning on coming to Anarchy in the NYC. Yesterday was the dreaded tax day, and for the first time, I did not file a return. The IRS and many political figures claim that compliance is voluntary. So I have chosen not to pay. If they come after me, I plan on choosing not to comply with their voluntary audit and will only give them information under duress. They will have to get a warrant for my arrest and force me into a court. If it comes to that, I will have grounds to sue the judge who signed such a warrant, which clearly violates rights defined by the Constitution he swore an oath to uphold. I don't have any faith in a document to protect my rights, but I will use it to hold a federal mafia accountable for the rules they claim to enforce. Thank you, Daniel, for your act of defiance. And I know there are more Americans every day that are taking this exact same position. And when the government comes after one of us, they'll find there are a lot more than they ever thought possible. The dollar as the reserve currency of the world is certainly being challenged. Making a practical decision to move a portion of their business into mountain hours, it makes a lot of sense. So one Bitcoin can be divided between 100 million people.